Hi everyone and welcome back. This next activity that we're going to be looking at here today is an actual sketching activity. So it helps us to really make sure that we're generating ideas to a challenge or pain point. So crazy eights essentially allow us to generate eight ideas to a problem or a pain point. It doesn't necessarily have to be sketches, it could also be bullet points maybe for those participants that might not feel comfortable or creative when we're actually in this activity. But what we want to do is make sure that we essentially capture as many ideas to a pain point or a challenge and this activity is very good for that. You want to make sure, I guess, in terms of tips for this particular activity, that you're giving participants enough time to draw, take a photo and then email it across to you so that you could upload that image into the board and everybody else can see the ideas that have been generated by that participant. Because that really allows that collaboration and feedback that you want to be getting as part of the workshop. Our second tip is around essentially having a break after this section. So, Often being creative, doing a bit of sketching and getting those ideas down the page can be quite draining and also, I guess, really get those um, juices flowing in terms of ideation. So you want to make sure that you give people a break, one from their perspective, but also it gives you a little bit of time to make sure that you get all of those images through in terms of from an email perspective and then have the time to upload them to the board so that you can do your collaboration and discussion after the Crazy 8 activity. So for the Crazy Eights, in terms of the boards that we have here, again, on the left-hand side, very similar to all our other activities, you have the instructions, and then on the right-hand side, you have an example. So in terms of the instructions for this, it is also very important, I guess, as part of some initial email communications that you tell your participants that they will need a pen and paper if you're planning on running this activity just so there's no kind of like panic or time wasted when they actually realize that they need to put pen to paper. It's also important, I guess, to make sure that everyone is designing towards the same thing. So it could be a particular feature that you might want to redesign, or it could be an entire page, but we recommend just focusing on smaller chunks of components of a page, just so that I guess there's more focus and direction throughout the group. And something that is also very important to communicate to your participants is that these do not have to be pretty designs. We're not kind of expecting people in the room to be full designers. Um, it's just to make sure that we essentially get their ideas and make sure that we understand exactly what their thoughts are based on their area of expertise and what they would like to see the feature or component do. And again, it's a really good opportunity to just share and discuss the ideas with the rest of the group and see what other people think in terms of building upon those ideas. Again, making sure that it's really clear in terms of those instructions of what you'd like them to do afterwards. So as well as, I guess, drawing the eight, making sure that they take a photo and again, email their photo over to either yourself or the secondary facilitator within the group. And again, it is, I guess, important to tell your participants as part of those expectations before running the workshop that as well as having the pen and paper that they might need a camera phone or a camera so that they can take a picture and send that over to you. And again, I guess as we move down the particular boards and the canvases that you can see here, what we've got is a frame per participant. So when they've emailed over their ideas to you, you can clearly place it within this space. And then again, it kind of makes it easier when you are discussing the ideas for people to find their own sketches that they've sent over to you. And again, makes your analysis a little bit easier. So that's it for the Crazy Eights. I'll see you in the next activity. Oh,